I am a strong believer that it is possible to create a system for the uh, common issuance of uh, bonds, uh, which at the same time can lower the refinancing cost of member states so that uh, we free resources for investment into growth, reinforces <laughs> compliance and therefore uh, also strengthens uh, the fiscal discipline, and that prepares the ground for uh, establishing uh, the euro as a global reserve uh, currency in uh, the near future. One of the points we wanted really to stress is that it can be a tool to strengthen discipline. And what I wanted uh, through this discussion is to make clear that we have to avoid to look at the euro bond as something that is bad in principle or something that is good in principle. It's not true. It's a complicated issue. We need to look at all the aspects, the technical ones and the political ones, and show that it is not as simple as some people pretend and it is not uh, something we should exclude forever. We are facing a dual challenge. Uh, on the one hand, uh, Euro area member states uh, need to speed up uh, structural reforms uh, to live up to the requirements of uh, sharing a common currency. On the other hand, uh, at European level, we need uh, the right uh, instruments uh, that uh, reflect uh, the reality and uh, requirements uh, of the single currency, especially the right uh, stability instruments. At the same time as we try to propose something resolving the crisis, we are trying to propose something that addresses the root cause or one root cause of the problem. I think it was already in the discussion today, and we are agreeing that there are several causes to the current crisis. One is the debt build up so up to the crisis or to the financial crisis, and the other one is, as you in, in indicated, is of course uh, the many uh, measures taken to prevent the crisis from even having more or exerting more damages. There is no way we can keep on the euro without common European debt because at the moment what is happening is that we have a self-fulfilling crisis which is not going to end very soon because there is a, confidence, a massive confidence crisis. And what is happening is that all the, southern, all the Mediterranean countries uh, saving is going to Holland, uh, Germany or uh, Finland with negative interest rates in uh, German debt. If we don't have a common debt, the euro is dead. The other solution might be the ECB. In our view, that will be the most uh, federal, ex the existing federal solution. It will be really easy to, so to, uh, to solve the European crisis with the ECB. Uh, it will be less costly. I think uh, uh, the ECB is, is buying some bonds, but not in an efficient way. Uh, the ECB has bought 210 billion of uh, sovereign debts uh, without much effect. Once again, Italian debt are above 7%. Irish debt is at 10 years above 8%. So it's not working. Why it's not working? Because the ECB is not fighting the market. Let's look at the historic parallels where uh, bonds have been used to shift savings into investment, and they didn't need any of this. When Roosevelt funded the first four years of the New Deal, there was no deficit financing. There was no fiscal transfers. The obvious point is that the US has a joint and common federal fiscal policy. Europe doesn't. What I'm trying to, to argue here, what I am arguing here, is that there are measures now which could be taken now with existing institutions and without treaty revisions, which both could stabilize the Eurozone crisis and could fund economic growth.